Hey everybody, welcome back to Devotions today. So good to have you with us. It is Thursday, the 5th of January, and we are talking about get up. Of course, we're looking from Joshua chapter 1, where Moses is dead and God says to Joshua, get up, be strong and very courageous, get up. And over the last few days, we've been talking about getting up in faith and getting up in strength. But how do you do that? How do you get up in faith and strength? That's what the next two days are going to be about. Let me give you two thoughts for today. Firstly, getting up in faith and strength requires simple obedience. That's all it is, simple obedience. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. God says, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn to it from the left or the right, that you may prosper wherever you go. One of the keys to getting up is to hearing the word of God and simply obeying it. I think sometimes we can almost in some senses think God out of the simplicity of some of the things that he asks us to do. Sometimes it's as simple as hearing him say, send a letter, write an email, forgive that person, drop a text, Give that person a phone call. Uh, stop and knock on the door of the neighbor's house. Simple things like that. But just learning to hear the voice of God, the, the nudge of the Holy Spirit in our hearts and in our spirit, to read the word of God and allow God to speak to us through it and simply obey. The story is told back in World War II of a, a particular bombing that was taking place in, in, a, in a city. And the father and son ran out of the house and the father jumped into the crater, a bomb crater to, to shelter with his son. But the boy didn't jump in and, and said to the father, dad, 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 I can't jump because I can't see you. But the father replied from the bottom of the crater, that's okay, jump, son, jump because I can see you. Simple obedience is the key to responding to God, to rising in faith and rising in strength. Simple obedience. I keep repeating simple obedience because it's actually more simple, I think, than we give it credit for. God speaks, we do it. God says it, I do it. God asks me, I will. What's God asking you to do? What has God been speaking to you about in the closing part of last year and the opening part of this year? I want to encourage you, let's together learn to be quick to respond with simple obedience to the things that God says. Back in Barnsley in the 1830s, two sons were born with the surname Taylor. The older one wanted to make a name for himself in politics with prestige and being in parliament. The younger one, however, gave his life to Christ. God spoke to him. And the younger one, Hudson Taylor, ended up going to China and lived a life of relative obscurity. The result, of course, was the pioneering of the China Inland Mission, which has had phenomenal impact in China and, of course, around the world. Hudson Taylor, of course, you know the name. For the older son, we know nothing. In fact, if you go to the encyclopedia to see what the other son has done, you'll find these words, brother, of Hudson Taylor. And I think it's sad that we would be known in accordance with what someone else has done, as opposed, as opposed to forging our own life of adventure with God. And that requires simple obedience. I think the second way that we rise in faith and strength is simply to go where he sends, just like Hudson Taylor did. And just like Joshua did. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And listen, friends, I really believe that when we respond to God and do what he says, then if God gets you there, then the problems that you encounter there are not really your problems. They're God's problems because you simply did what God said stepping into a new job, stepping into a new ministry, stepping into a new location, stepping into a, a new opportunity, a new season. If God said it, then God can fulfill his plans for your life in it. 
So I think the key to rising in faith and strength this year comes in two things, simple obedience and going where he sends. So what is God saying to you? Which door is God asking you to knock on? Which dream is God wanting you to fast and pray into this season? Because I'm believing that by the end of 2023, you too will have a testimony that says, in 2023, I got up in faith and in strength and saw God do some remarkable things in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow, everybody.